Welcome to the Customer Service University. This 12-part series equips CX professionals with the insights to excel in the industry. Join us as we unlock the secrets to becoming a leader in customer experience with guidance from top experts. Your journey to the top begins now. Welcome back to Lesson 11. Today we're going to be talking about enhancing agent performance with analytics. I am very grateful to have my good friend here, Chandra Tobias, the SVP of Operational Excellence at eTech Global Services. Chandra is one of my favorite people to speak to in the entire industry. Chandra, thank you for being here today to share with us your wisdom, your knowledge. It's just amazing to always talk to you. Let's just dive right into it. Can you just start by framing up what is operational excellence, performance analytics? What does all of this mean within the context of the contact center? Yeah, you know, it's a lot of words, right? And it takes in a lot of space. It's really kind of, you know, the essence of call center performance management is systemically tracking analyzing, interpreting agent interactions to really, you want to drive efficiencies and you want to drive in 2024 experience. You want to drive great customer quality metrics. These will include metrics such as handle time, CSAT scores, resolution rates, actionable insights, you know, that drive all of those core kind of metrics. That's really what we're looking at when we're talking about performance metrics in a call center today. Okay. So performance analytics have evolved over the years and now with AI, yeah. they've really changed that. Can you talk about how they've recently started to evolve and what are the most critical today? Yeah. You know, back in the day, it was the tick marks, right? You know, how many calls you're taking, the duration of those calls, you know, things of that nature. It was more about volume and not really the finer details of what was happening inside of the interaction. Today, we've got these very nuanced metrics such as customer sentiment, interaction quality, real-time feedback, sentiment analysis, predictive analytics, which really help us see the future. And that helps our managers make very informed decisions today that drive both service and efficiency. Okay, so with these new metrics, now that we know what they are, what is the process of implementing analytics to monitor and enhance performance? Yeah, and you know, Dennis, this is where it can get kind of intimidating, right? Implementing analytics typically starts with identifying those key performance indicators that align with business goals. You need to involve or integrate basically your data collection tools into your existing systems, your CRM. We need to train our staff on the significance of analytics, how to not only interpret the information, but to receive the information, right? And we need to continuously define our data analysis methods to ensure accuracy and relevance. Okay. All right. Now that all sounds, that sounds like a great process. Do you have a real world example of where this has gone into action? Oh boy, do I? Yeah. I, you know, I have several of those. One case study that comes to mind immediately is where an implementation of analytics to identify patterns in high handle time, right? We're always trying to get those minutes back in the contact center. Key strategies that were applied based on these analytics were really focused on identifying needs, right? Real-time feedback to agents, allowing agents to be coached in the moment when we know coaching is most effective and adjusting scripts, processes, all of those things that streamline calls. What this did for us is it helped reduce handle time and improve overall customer satisfaction. So these real-time analytics, it's a little different than back in the day where we had to aggregate them real time. How does that influence the agent performance and their decision-making? That's a great question because, you know, gone are the days where you've got to wait a week to hear about how you did on a call from last week, right? I mean, it's pretty much instantaneous now. Our real-time analytics, they significantly influence agent behavior because now everything is in the moment. So your agents are able to make those changes very agilely on the move and really correct their performance, you know, in the moment. They can adjust their approach during interactions. They can modify their tone. They can provide additional information when they need it the most. And all of this really leads to a more effective and a more personalized customer experience. That sounds pretty nice, but I'm sure there's some challenges with implementing this stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, all good things, right? All good things have their challenges along the way. The challenges that we're gonna run into, and, and you know, this is with everyone, right? Integrating with existing systems, it's not a one size fits all. You know, sometimes you've got to do some custom programming there. 
ensuring that data accuracy and doing your due diligence on data integrity is an absolute must, okay? Getting your staff buy-in, understanding the importance of why we're making this shift and why we're looking at data differently. You can address all of those things by, you know, being smart with, with selecting your partner, right? Selecting analytical solutions, conducting thorough training at every single level, okay? Don't just train the managers, train the agents as well, right? help everyone understand the benefit of analytics and also engage everyone especially your agents through incentives that encourage the adoption of analytical tools the end goal is to empower and make things accessible and easy well it's so nice to see that the future is sort of now but speaking of the future what are the trends coming up in performance analytics yeah it's all good news right and it's all about doing so much more with less effort okay you know increased use of ai and machine learning to provide deeper insights into customer interaction integrating omni-channel analytics to really track that customer journey and make for a more seamless interaction with the customer across platforms and then the thing that i get super excited about is predictive analytics and that gives us the ability to anticipate customer needs and give the agents the training in advance that help meet those customer needs. Speaking of training, how are you training the agents to, to get up to speed on all of this stuff? Yeah, you know, this is a lot, right? And the agent job is a very complex thing now. So we really focus our training programs on analytics that in a manner that it really teaches agents to interpret dashboards quickly. Things are at a glance. We want them to understand key metrics. We incorporate that in initial training. We also apply insights to all of their interactions. We keep it fresh with them. Regular training, updates, workshops, boot camps helps keep the agents up to date on tools and methods, and it makes sure that they're, they have a frictionless experience when using analytics. Okay, okay. And how do you measure that you've been successful at all of this stuff? Success when, when using analytics is really measured by comparing those key performance indicators and other analytics with after implementation with your pre-state, right? You want to look at your improvements in customer satisfaction scores because a, a more a smooth customer experience really does help flatten those scores out. You want to reduce handle times. Again, that contributes to a higher customer satisfaction score, high resolution rates. Everybody's a fan of that. Surveys and feedback from customers, from agents, from leaders, those all give you valuable insights into your strategy's effectiveness as well. Communication, good communication. It always comes down to that. And I guess it's always more clear when there's numbers attached to it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right. My last question, my favorite question for you, especially is because you have so much wisdom, what is your advice for, for people in the contact centers going forward to be successful? Know what you're going to look at, right? You know, really focus on clearly defining what metrics to track ensure you're using the right tools and technologies okay and then foster that culture build a culture that values data-driven decision making always stay in learning mode by reviewing your analytics understanding your numbers making sure those outcomes are specifically aligned with your strategic goals if you do those things your analytics will definitely enhance your agent performance Chandra, it's always so nice to have a chance to hear from you. I'm thank certain you. the class has had a wonderful time learning from you. And class, thank you for being here. Next week, we'll be here for Lesson 12, Pioneering Leadership and Innovation. Chandra, thank you again. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us for this Customer Service University lesson. Discover how QEVAL can enhance your operations with real-time analytics, predictive insights, and comprehensive quality management. Visit qevalpro.com learn to connect with our experts and exclusive support.